LTA Movie Club, Darren Aronofsky's The Fountain, go. So there's this Spanish guy. He's trying to find this tree that'll make you live forever. You know, for his queen. And then there's this doctor guy. He's like the same guy, but not really. You know, he's, uh, he's trying to save his wife because she's dying of a brain thing or something. And he's reading a book his wife wrote about the Spanish guy who looks just like him. And then there's this, uh, this, uh, this, uh, this space monk who's really the doctor guy, or maybe he's really the Spanish guy, or... And his lady is the tree and they're in this bubble thing going to the star that's gonna explode so they can explode with it and then there's like this uh, this uh, this missing ring and the space monkey eats little bits of the tree and he writes lines on his arm like a tree and the doctor wants to get all Frankenstein on his dead wife. And the Spanish guy gets to the tree, but he becomes one with the tree and sucks to be him. And the space monk's tree wife dies. And he finds the ring where the Spanish guy dropped it. And the star blows up and he becomes one with the tree and that's good and the doctor didn't really get all frankenstein he went with his wife instead and he and then he planted a seed on her grave so he could eventually go up in a bubble with her and explode with the star or something this is my second time watching the movie didn't really get more out of it this go around that I didn't get the first time so I guess it's memorable enough okay this has to be the yellowest movie ever made seriously like 99% of this movie is tinged with that lemony golden goodness like a pussy soaked in apple juice I mean the whole thing is beautiful from start to finish but does it have to be so yellow answer of course it does so we got Hugh Jackman and Rachel Weisz as the lovely couple spanning this wacko story. And they're all right. Weird thing. Hugh is great when he's playing the doctor, right? But as the conquistador, he's like a cartoon character. I shall not die. Not here. Not now. Never. Ah. Weisz has the opposite problem. She's got the most majestic English accent you're ever going to hear. Even though she's playing a Spanish queen, but whatever. Take this ring. It is a symbol of your promise. But as the dying wife, her fake American accent just can't compete. My conquistador. Always conquering. The best part is the music. Oh my god in heaven. Clint Mansell, who does all of Aronofsky's movies. He's, he's the John Williams to his Spielberg. He's the Elfman to his Burton. He's just... I'm still hearing the music in my head that Oh wow. It's a good movie. It's good visionary work, you know. But it just didn't get me here. A movie like this really has to get me here if it's gonna be awesome. Especially if it's gonna make a mess out of this. It's probably the least of Aronofsky's movies. But hell, even that's better than most. So until next time, play us out, Clint.